Breaking news now. Chicago has been chosen to host the 2024 Democratic National Convention. Good Tuesday to you. I'm Brad Edwards. Thank you for joining us on the stream CBS News Chicago. This convention to be held in 2024 will be the first time the city has hosted that event since 1996. Here to talk about what it means for the city. Really the one of the, the leads behind that 1996 event, uh, the head of PR for the 96 event, a political consultant, media consultant, and friend of the stream, Delmarie Cobb. Miss Cobb, good morning to you. Thank you for taking time out of your day to join us. Thank you. Tell me what it means. Big news? Surprised? Oh, yeah, I'm very happy. Um, Chicago, when it held the Democratic Convention in 1996, of course, we had not held it until, uh, since uh, 1968. And so there was a lot of attention and interest in uh, Chicago holding the convention in 96. Uh, we had some uh, we had the most media coverage of any convention. There were 15,000 credentialed media people who came to the city of Chicago to cover the convention to see exactly if we would vindicate ourselves from the 1968 convention. Yeah, of course, 1968, and not a great memory for Chicago or the country when then Mayor Daley basically turned the police force onto the protesters then. Um, this can be a boon when you consider uh, money. Uh, you said 15,000 were credentialed in 1996. 2016, this is pre-COVID numbers, so we want to get a good guesstimate. 2016, Philly held it. They estimate they brought in a quarter billion dollars to a local economy. Um, talk about the ripples, uh, the positives of, of getting the, the DNC in that, that term. It was a, a positive all the way around from not only uh, the economic indirect and in, uh, direct and indirect economic benefits, but when you look at some of the small businesses that benefited, when you look at the small vendors who benefited, uh, when you look at the neighborhoods that benefited because of all the improvements that were done in different neighborhoods to make sure that the conventioneers saw a very nice city of Chicago. And so there were a lot of improvements and a lot of benefits. I know that one of the things we did at the time was we deposited uh, money, $100,000, $250,000 in about three or four banks that were community banks. And the reason they did it was there, were one, well, there was one caveat, and that was if any small vendors wanted to do business with the Democratic Convention, they could be able to go to those specific banks and get a loan specifically for selling t-shirts or buttons or whatever that they might not have the money up front. So it helps people all the way down from the large businesses to the small businesses. Yeah, some remarkable insight. Talking with Delmarie Cobb here on the stream. It has just been announced that Chicago is now going to be home of the 2024 Democratic National Convention. Ms. Cobb was head of public relations in 1996, the last time it was held here. A uh, roaring success, uh, especially compared to the, the previous time Chicago held it, 1968. Are you surprised by the choice of Chicago, Delmarie? And I'm asking you to frame this in, I mean, Chicago is blue, very blue, very democratic. Um, some were thinking maybe they would go more with uh, the Democrats with, with a purple state, uh, the epicenter of a purple state, somewhere where they need to win, let's say Atlanta and Georgia, let's say Phoenix and Arizona. Um, in that regards, are you surprised they went with Chicago? Oh, Chicago has so many benefits. I mean, one, it is a solidly blue state for the most part. Uh, if you look at what happened in, in um, uh, 2020, uh, here we were the only blue state in the sea of red, and we continue to be that. And when you look at the recent mayoral race, uh, which was a, a, a fight between both extremes of the Democratic Party, you have the progressive wing of the Democratic Party and the conservative wing of the Democratic Party, and the progressive uh, wing won out. Uh, those are the people that uh, Biden wants to appeal to, the progressive wing, the young people, to make sure that they come out and support uh, the Democratic ticket in 2024. And so this is a homage to that victory and to the progressives, I believe. 
Duly noted there, we were discussing that uh, in the news from just a few minutes ago, uh, the surprise in uh, many regards, a victory by Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson, uh, wondering if it, if it played some type of role in the, in the final choice to come out. Um, final, final takeaways from you. Um, this has got to energize you, excite you a little bit. Of course, you had your hands directly in 1996, everything that was 1996, of course, uh, that year, President Clinton and Vice President Gore were renominated again and went on to win re-election, a second term in the White House. Um, final takeaways on Chicago getting it. Of course, some people are going to think, oh gosh, it's another convention or, <laughs> or, or that's going to cause more uh, headaches with driving and so on. These things seem to be a little more streamlined than that, right? I mean, um, final thoughts. Yeah, I mean, it's not... Um uh, I mean, the benefits of the of the convention to everybody, I think people don't look at it as a dread. Uh, it's really a, a wonderful time. It's a wonderful opportunity for people who may not get a chance to go to a convention. I know a lot of people came, uh, went to the convention when it was here in Chicago, just simply because it was here in Chicago, and they could. And so it uh, it's, a, it's a lot of parties throughout the city uh, that everyday people can attend in some cases. So I think, you know, overall it's going to be a wonderful event for the city. And I think all Chicagoans will be able to get behind it. Yeah, more of a celebration. This is certainly not going to be NATO, if you will. Um, <laughs> fascinating insight. Uh, friend of the stream, we appreciate media consultant, political consultant, and the head of PR for the hugely successful 96 DNC in Chicago, Delmarie Cobb, Ms. Cobb, uh, thank you for your time this thank you. Tuesday. And again, topping the news here, breaking news, uh, the Democrats have decided to have their national convention right here in Chicago in 2024. President Biden, in part, says that's because of what Chicago does. It embodies the Democratic platform, its strong union support, etc. Much more on this breaking news as it becomes available throughout the day. And we'll have a lot coming up today at 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. on the news with Jim Williams and Marie Saavedra. For now, I'm Brad Edwards, live from the newsroom here at CBS2 Chicago. Thanks for streaming with us. Now we'll go back to the stream.